Other nations' construction initiatives pale in comparison to China's current building frenzy. Without machines with strength and accuracy that appear unthinkable, everything from whole bridges put together in a single day to 4,000 tons of weights raised by a single crane would be impossible. These steel and hydraulic monsters are essential to a process that seems like it belongs in the future. We're also studying how they actually operate nowadays. The electric shovel, Taiwan WK55. One of China's most potent mining tools is the Taiwan WK55 electric shovel. It is made by Taiwan Heavy Industry, TWIHI, and is literally built to move mountains. It weighs more than 1 through 700 tons and has a huge 55 cubic meter bucket that can collect up to 100 tons of rock in a single load. That is roughly equivalent to a whole freight train car being removed in a single scoop. Compared to conventional diesel shovels, its high efficiency AC electric drive technology makes every operation more precise, quicker and smooth because every movement from raising the boom to swinging the arm is meticulously regulated. Operators may dig, lift and dump material with amazing precision. Its endurance is what makes it even more remarkable. The WK55 is designed to operate constantly without sacrificing performance in some of the most extreme mining conditions, such as ice plateaus and burning deserts. To ensure safe and effective operation, the operator uses sophisticated controls and cameras inside the climate-controlled cabin. Additionally, this beast is cleaner and quieter due to its all-electric design, which lowers carbon emissions and operating expenses for large-scale mines. China, however, did not merely dig. Another device they created has the ability to move like a spider. Spider Walking Excavator. China has been creating devices that are much more practical than they may initially appear. For instance, consider the walking excavator. This enormous multi-legged vehicle isn't only made to creep over uneven ground. It is designed to support loads exceeding 3,000 kilolert while maintaining its distinctive spider-like mobility. Nothing slows it down, whether it's traversing rocky hills, muddy construction sites, or landslide zones. Because each of its four hydraulic legs may move separately, it can walk over obstructions that a standard excavator would encounter or squat over. Even on 45 dirt steep slopes, its balance is continuously monitored by an integrated computer control system that modifies leg pressure and angles in real time to maintain stability. In order to excavate, lift, or transport large rocks without losing stability, some versions can even extend their booms more than 9 meters, or 30 feet. The legs are automatically adjusted to preserve grip and posture by the onboard computer, which receives data from high-precision topographical sensors that scan the ground ahead. These kinds of machines are revolutionizing distant mining and construction. They are able to reach areas that conventional excavators just cannot. If you think that was amazing, just wait until you learn how China was able to relocate a whole building while its occupants were still there. Actuators for robots. Imagine a device that is so accurate that it can move huge structures, tilt them, and even walk them there without developing any cracks. China's robotic actuator system accomplishes precisely that. With the help of this innovative technology, the once catastrophic relocation procedure is transformed into a delicate, well-coordinated engineering ballet. These robotic actuators function flawlessly together. The building is raised a few millimeters at a time by the hydraulic jacks and intelligent sensors installed in each unit. One actuator doesn't seem like much on its own. However, when hundreds of them work together, they can move buildings that weigh more than 10,000 tons inch by inch until they reach their new location. Real-time synchronization is the key. A central computer that continuously tracks movement speed, balance, and weight distribution is in communication with each actuator. The system rapidly corrects if one leg deviates even a little from the beat, maintaining the building's exact levelness. 
when experts in Shanghai used this method to relocate the 76-ton, five-story, historic Laganina Primary School more than 60 meters from its original location without causing any wall cracks. It garnered international attention in 2020. The short 18-day move demonstrated that large structures can be moved effectively, safely and without requiring demolition. At the moment, China is the only nation that has successfully used robotic actuators for building relocation on this scale. Let's move on from these crawling marvels to another Chinese machine that accomplishes the impossible in its own unique way without walking. Follow the dragon that is laying tracks. A railway construction machine known as the Track Laying Dragon actually lays down tracks as it moves along. This enormous machine, built by China Railway Construction Corporation, can lay more than one five kilometers of railroad track in a single day. That is far quicker than any group working by hand. Its long jointed frame supports prefabricated rails and sleepers. Hydraulic arms grasp each part as it moves forward, position it, and secure it precisely. From a control cabin crammed with cameras and sensors, a single person keeps an eye on the operation. The remainder occurs on its own. Even on curves or uneven terrain, the technology maintains the track's straightness to within a few millimeters. It is extremely valuable for high-speed rail because of its accuracy. The machine can handle slopes, soft soil, and flood-prone locations without losing its balance in temperatures between minus 30 degrees seats and 45 degrees C. Projects like the Sichuan-Tibet Railway, one of the world's most challenging train routes, have made use of it. More than two-thirds of the world's high-speed rail network is currently operated by China, and equipment like these is a major factor in why Saiton faces drilling rigs deep within Chinese tunnels. A machine has the strength of an army and the accuracy of a craftsman. One of the most effective rock drilling systems ever created is the Sinon four-boom face drilling rig. Constructed using sataton machinery, it is intended to cut through solid stone more quickly than nearly every other tunneling machine on the planet. It makes use of four simultaneously operating hydraulically powered booms rather than a single drill. The impact energy delivered by each boom can reach up to 20 kiloliter making extremely precise, deep blast holes. Combined, they can prepare a whole tunnel face in a matter of minutes, which reduces excavation time by around 40% as compared to traditional rigs. The drilling procedure is simple yet incredibly well designed. First, a precise hole pattern is drilled by the rig. After that, explosives are inserted to break up the rock. After clearing, the machine moves forward smoothly repeating the procedure. Every hole is maintained in the ideal location by an integrated automated alignment mechanism. In order to maintain boom synchronization, especially in confined underground areas where precision is crucial, the onboard control computer continuously measures torque, pressure, and angle. A vertical version of this rig is also used to excavate escape routes, ventilation tunnels, and mine shafts that are hundreds of meters deep. Because of its versatility, it is extremely useful for infrastructure, hydropower, and mining projects both inside and outside of China. Additionally, the next Chinese invention constructs complete roadways well above the ground while this mechanical powerhouse conquers the depths. Huge machine for erecting bridge girders. It is referred to as the bridge monster, and with good cause. This crane, the SLJ932, is not like others. It's a mobile construction platform that can construct bridges by itself. This 580-ton monster rolls straight on top of the bridge rather than lifting from below, precisely positioning enormous concrete parts. The SLJ932, which is more than 300 feet long and capable of lifting bridge sections up to 900 tons in a single operation was created by the Beijing Wow Joint Machinery Company. The machine moves forward on its own rails after securing a section to its piers, lifting the subsequent component into place. Computerized hydraulic jacks and laser alignment systems guide every movement, 
Minimizing positioning mistakes to a few millimeters. Bridge construction time is reduced by almost half because of the machine's ability to move itself without the use of support cranes. The SLJ932 has proven its value in some of the world's most difficult terrains by being utilized in some of China's most ambitious infrastructure projects, such as the Shenzhen Xiamen Expressway and the Beijing Shanghai High Speed Train. Then, let's examine a Chinese morel that slices through hard rocks like a butter knife. Rock Arm Excavators The Rock Arm Excavator appears to be a standard digger at first glance. But then you notice the enormous strengthened arm and the enormous steel claw at the tip. This construction vehicle is not like the others. Construction vehicle is not like the others. This beast was created to chisel through the most difficult terrain in China and crush stone. The rock arm excavator, also known as the XE490, was created by XCMG, one of the leading manufacturers of construction equipment to perform tasks that most other machines wouldn't dare attempt. This beast is powered by a sophisticated high-pressure hydraulic system that provides it with both exquisite precision and overwhelming strength. Boulders are easily grasped, lifted, and torn apart by the enormous claw. However, every action it takes is premeditated despite its immense power. In order to maintain ideal balance and avoid overload, Sensors are positioned throughout the arm to continuously measure pressure and resistance. The rock arm excavator, which weighs close to 49 tons and can dig more than 7 meters, does more than just dig. It uses controlled force to shape the terrain. It keeps its equilibrium like a tightrope dancer with a mountain in its grasp, even on shaky terrain. However, when faced with something far larger, even this steel and hydraulic behemoth is equal the unquestioned Tunnel Boring King, Tunneling Machine Zhanghai Shield. While certain machines remain out of sight, their work is nothing short of revolutionary. Among those giants is the tunneling equipment known as the Zhanghai Shield. It was constructed in 2024 by China Railway Construction Heavy Industry and is currently the biggest shield tunneling equipment in China. Created just for Shanghai's Jiangsu Chongming, Highway Tunnel Underwater. Its purpose is to excavate the world's longest underwater highway shield tunnel. This engineering wonder is 475 meters long, or around four football fields, and weighs an astounding 5,300 tons. Its cutting head has a diameter of 16.64 meters, enough space to accommodate two lanes of traffic in each direction. After the tunnel is finished, the cutters are composed of a unique wear-resistant alloy that can manage the intricate mixture of silt, sand, and clay beneath the Yangtze River. Debris is removed as the head rotates by a conveyor system that runs continuously. An internal network of more than 500 sensors monitors soil density, torque, and pressure, modifying the machine's speed and angle in real time to maintain precise alignment. More than 70% of the huge TBMs produced and exported worldwide are currently made in China, a percentage that no other nation can equal. As China continues to defy gravity, logic, and limits, one thing becomes clear. These machines aren't just tools. They're symbols of how far human engineering can go when innovation meets ambition. From colossal bridge builders that walk across rivers to robotic actuators that move entire buildings, China's construction revolution is not slowing down anytime soon. Every gear, every bolt, and every steel beam tells the same story. That the future of construction isn't just about building structures, it's about building possibilities. And as these mechanical titans continue to reshape skylines and carve tunnels through mountains, one question remains. If this is today, what will China build tomorrow? Tomorrow.